and we're back so um, for this as you can see they they dry completely flat so uh, that is a good thing for this paper to do because you want stuff being flat again because especially in collages you need that to be flat so um, I'm getting out some of this uh, gooey stuff look at that this is a uh, heavy gel gloss so it's glossy, it's white when you use it, but it's transparent when it's dry, and that's important. So if you buy gloss, if you want to do the same thing I'm doing, and you buy gloss, read the, uh, read the thing on the side where it says if it dries white or it dries transparent. That's really important. So I got about... Well, this is 100 milliliters, I think uh, a little less than 50 milliliters. That's all I got in there. So now I'm getting my mica. And we don't need much. This is a popsicle stick. That's about how much I put on there, maybe even less. That's it. More. You don't need more than that. And what you do need to do is stir it in. So in the beginning you want to stir slowly or this stuff goes flying in the air making sure it's all coming in contact with that gel and then you can sort of start mixing it up. Now when you're using this you won't be seeing any uh, uh, glittery effects yet but once it's dry because it's transparent that stuff It'll just leave the, the mica, so then it's going to be nice and shiny. So we're going to do that. Now what you could even do is add a little bit of glitter. Because it's mica and glitter. So that's going to work. It doesn't work when you use paint to color it. If you add the glitter, the, the, the glitter will just be covered with the... Uh, with the paint so you won't see almost nothing so this is it that's all we need make sure that we have no white stuff left because the white is going to dry transparent and you won't see anything that's about it now what you use to uh, cover the stencil is really really cheap all you need is these I don't know what you use them for, but um, you can buy them at sort of Home Depot stores. And what they uh, have is the small ones, the bigger ones. You have the plastic ones. You have all sorts of sizes. But you could also go if you're if you have a lot of money. Uh, you could buy them from Liquitex. These are like ten times the cost of the little ones, and the little ones work perfectly. I'll show you in a bit. Now, I have some uh, stencils, this one I'm going to use, and what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use the whole stencil, because what I kind of like is where it sort of fades, so I'm putting my stencil down here, and what I'm going to do is, in the middle, I'm going to do a bit, so that I can use that part, that part, or I could use that part, so any which way doesn't really matter. Now, all you have to do is load up one of these knives, pellet knives. And then you don't have to stick this down because it's not like you're, you know, uh, dabbing it on. You're going to just swipe over it. And once you do that, it's going to stick on there, as you can see in a bit. So when you do this... Now your stencil is already stuck on there, so that's going to work. So what I'm going for is a little bit of jaggedy edges here. And on this side. And I do want to have a little bit of coverage down here. So that's about all we need. Now you can do different things now. You could go over it with a brush. And then I'd also use one of these brushes, so I have to first clean it, or it's going to leave paint on top. We don't want that. And if you brush over it, 
You have to do that really softly, but it leaves a little bit of relief and once it's dry, it'll help to give that really nice golden uh, look to it because it has more, when you have relief, you know, the light can bounce off it better. Now we're going to take it off and we take it off like that really fast and there you have it. So uh, this is going to change color of course because um, everything you see the white is going to disappear and then it's just going to leave our mica and the glitter that we put in. Now the other side I'm going to do the same. And this time we're going to use one of these bubbly ones. I like bubbles. So we're going to put that down there. We're going to load up the brush. Or the palette knife, sorry, not the brush. And we're going to just do the same thing we did. So we're going to bring it up here. Bring it down here. And like I said, jaggedy edges because I don't want... Uh, straight lines up here because then I can use it any which way I like and I kind of like having the choice of how to use it. Now this time I'm not going to go over it with a brush. I am going to go over it with a clean palette knife to get rid of those uh, little lines. And I can't really avoid them. But what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of glitter on top. And I'm doing that with the stencil down because I don't want the glitter in between these uh, little uh, bubbles. So I'm going to leave it just for a bit and then come with the clean palette knife. Have to clean it up a little bit. Get under the stencil. And there you go. So now we have, this one is a little bit more glittery, as you can see. See there how pretty that is? But we're going to cut this up anyway, so it's really uh, not, not a problem, you know, that we have a few little lines in there. Now the next one. This one we're going to put smack in the middle because I want um, more options to cut it up. So this time I am going to add a little bit more of the uh, of the mica because I don't want everything to look the same, you know. Then you get this uniform looking uh, collage and then it looks really, really looks the same. So this one is going to be a little bit darker. And of course it will have a little bit more gold color to it. But I think that goes with this pattern because it reminds me of a shell. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to take that out. Put that on there. You can already see the difference in the colors. So as, as I said, you don't have to stick it down. You can see even this is sort of uh, bulging. But as soon as you do this, it's down. So we might want to give it a little bit of a difference there. <coughs> and a little bit up here. I think that's going to do it. Well, wait a minute. I want a little bit more up there. That's more than enough. That's it. Now I'm going to try and get it smooth. I think I will do the brush thing over it this time. Really softly. You, you just almost don't touch the, uh, touch the surface. And because this is going to be a shelly thing, I'm going to put a little bit of glitter on top of it. 
some of it will come off, but that's okay. Then we're going to clean up that pellet knife. And there you go. That's it. So now I can cut any which way I want, and it'll give me exactly the length I need, and that's going to be good. So I'm going to put this one away. And then the last one, of course, with my favorite one, the Baroque looking, I think that way. Oh yeah, this one, uh, I, I sort of made a little boo-boo there. I hope that's going to stay flat. You know, I brush it when I clean it, and some of these little things can't take that. Here's another one that's standing up a little bit. But usually when you put your paste on top, it goes flat. So we're going to paste up the pellet knife again. So next week, guys, I'm going to show you the, uh, I'm going to show you the collages. If my resin will work with me, of course. Okay, I want a little bit of jaggedy edges here and there. That's about it. Yeah. And as you can see, I still have a lot left. So you don't really need that much of the uh, of the of the gel medium. I'm gonna go over it a little bit. That's it. And of course, this one needs glitter because it's baroque. Just a little bit here and there. And of course, taking it off. That's it. What you do want to do is, right away, uh, when you're ready, you want to um, make sure that your stencils are clean because you have to keep them very clean. Now, as you can see, it's already really shiny, but it's going to get even more shinier because, like I said, the gel medium is white, and that's going to turn transparent, and it's going to leave us the beautiful sheen of the mica and the glitter so that's going to be really nice but this already looks awesome so because I made this video before I of course have the same only they are ready so I'm going to show them to you so as you can see now they're really shiny see that and these now are dry that dries really fast. Uh, I did use a hair dryer just a little bit, but they dry in about in half an hour, something like that. See how pretty they are? And here's one where I put some glitter on top later afterwards on this one. But you don't really need it because it's really nice and golden. So that works out. Now for the mica, what you can do is use Perlex, you can use um, any you used when you're, you're, you were pouring all the primary elements, you can use that. As long as you put it in something like this, a gel gloss medium, a, uh, the paste is usually white and it stays white, so you have to be careful. Here it says um, exactly what it does. The emulsion dries transparent, and that's what you want, because if you put this in it, you need the transparent one. If you don't, if you want to color it with a uh, acrylic paint, then you can buy the other one, which just dries white. When you put paint in, you just color it, so uh, that's it. And these are really not that expensive. There's 500 milliliters in it. You saw me do all these stencils with with about 30 milliliters, so you don't you really use much of it, and um, it, it goes a long way. So I hope you enjoyed this one, this video, and I sure hope you're ready to see my collages next week, because I'm really sort of, I was really nervous, you know, putting those stuff, that, that stuff together. Uh, it's sort of, I don't know, I was really, <laughs> I don't know, just nervous. So, um, but it, it turned out really nice. 
I have two almost ready, so uh, I know what I'm going to get, so that's going to be fun. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next week, I hope. Uh, stay safe with the COVID stuff. Here in Holland, it's going crazy again. We went from, I don't know, under the 4,000 uh, new cases a day, and now it's doubled. It's almost back to 8,000 a day. And for Holland, that's a lot because we only have 17 million people in Holland. So that, that'll give you an idea. And uh, we're no closer to um, lifting the lockdown. We're really locked down. Uh, what you can do is go to a shop. At, they call it uh, personal shopping <laughs> right now. So you have to go to the website and uh, make an appointment. And then you get, depending on the store, you get 10 minutes or 30 minutes or 45 minutes and then you can go to the store. This is not the supermarket though. The supermarkets are open. That's okay. You can, you know, go grocery shopping whenever you want. But for the other shops, you have to make an appointment. Yeah, it takes all the fun out of it. It really does. Okay, guys. See you next week. Love you all to pieces. Bye-bye.